I gotta give you props. So he didn't tell me he was sending out a code to a reviewer. Uh, and so then he's like, bro, uh, I did a thing. Without and, question, the and, best video and, game review. And he's like, you gotta watch it. And so I'm like, all right, let's watch it. And I was dying. I was dying bro, and I loved it. Without question, it the was, best video game review I've ever watched. That was in my life. great. That was an awesome review. It was so hilarious. I'm, I'm, honest to God, your, your, your editing on how you do the jokes and how you add in all the different things to the videos to kind of play off those jokes is on point man plus Thanks. i do like the fact that uh you you not only do you like crack jokes but then on the, on the flip side you like do actual proper criticism along with those jokes and i think that's that's like the ultimate thing out of that where a lot of times when people do um the one part of it which is like just cracking jokes and talking about everything that might be wrong with something that's all they do. They don't actually give proper criticism. So I think that's the biggest difference there. So I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was great. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I was dying, man. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta give you. But then when you when you did get into like you were talking about different so music and like what's in the music and what instruments were being used, I was like, holy. He went deep. Yeah, yeah. That that yeah. was that was super cool, man. <laughs> I watched it I, and like I started cracking up the first like two minutes. I was like. This is going to be incredible. And then I saw how long it was, and I was like, holy <laughs> that's longer than some of the levels. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it was my biggest project, and that's kind of how I wanted to go into it as well. That's Because yeah, awesome. I want it. Because, like, I like making bigger projects, so I'm like, oh, this is a game review. Let's let's see how in-depth I could possibly go with this. Oh, so it's not my longest yeah, yeah. Dude, you I project. Yeah. Well, I, 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 like, I like longer videos. I'm not... I'm not one of those people that has a poor attention span, so like I can mm -hmm. actually, as long as it's entertaining and and it's done right, well, yeah. uh, I I'll sit there. I don't care. I'll sit there thirty minutes, an hour, out of whatever. I don't care as long as it's yeah. done well. That's that's the biggest thing. And yeah. if you did it, you nailed it, man. I I, I yeah, loved every it, second of it. With with that game specifically, it took me like two weeks just to beat it. And it was it was honestly aggravating. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah hold on, hold on. So I, actually, the, you... the whole research part, I'm like, oh wow, this is it's. It was honestly, I feel the most strenuous, um, research portion of like any video I've ever done. Um, wow. But that's because like I needed to beat the game in order to like, like actually, you know, give sure. my thoughts on it. Which as is a whole. which is so how like, you should. That's to me. I agree. That is a proper I agree. review. Uh, what I hate about game reviews. Nowadays, it's like you play 15 <laughs> yeah. minutes and I'm like, yeah, oh, I love it. And I'm like, you, you can't love it. You haven't played the whole thing. You know, right. I couldn't beat the tutorial. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> right exactly. Well, that's why that's why I like uh, that's why I like Yahtzee uh, when he does his thing. Like he d does the whole thing. And he's, when he talks about how long it takes him to play a game. You know, he, he goes through those ups and downs of, like, I lost interest and this oh, and that. Yeah. So, like, by the time I got to the end, I forgot that I cared at the beginning. Like, <laughs> you know, like I like that. Yeah, I, I dig that. So I want to ask you, since you're actually the first person I know to have beaten the entire game. What? Hold up. What? I mean, I'm really? sure people have, but I just mean like people that I've talked to. Like oh, I've okay. never beaten All the right. game. I've got, I've never beaten the game. Wait, <laughs> time out. <laughs> oh, Hold no, up. You gotta understand. The, Wait. La the last game I beat was only six hours, and it was Modern Warfare Two. Yeah. So that's mm. how long ago that was, and <laughs> it was only six hours. So like, the game. Want, so we. The, we actually, funny enough, we released the game on Steam, but we made it before. Before, we, we, yeah, we were. Yeah, we made it significantly mm -hmm. amount before it was even released on Steam. It, it was just on, took a while uh, to get it on Steam. Yeah. yeah. Well, at the at the beginning, when we submitted to Steam originally, they they nixed us. They were like, "No, nah, okay. we don't think it'll fit in." Blah blah blah. And at the time, mm -hmm. I was so salty because I had like looked at all these like newly released indie games, and there was a. Bunch right. of garbage. So I was like, "This game's way better than some of these games." Like, there I mean, there are better games. I'm not gonna say this is the best game ever, no, but like, right. there yeah. were definitely worse games in 2011. So I was real salty about them saying mm -hmm. no. And then um, we ended up going on Desura. I don't know if you remember Desura, um, which was like the mm. indie, the indie Steam, and they uh, and they they recently like went down for like money laundering and shit. Like, oh wow! They went oh. down. <laughs> Yikes. Like they were like not paying people. They owed people like years worth of of royalties. Oof. Yeah. Man. That's a it was a rough one. That is rough, yeah. 
But um, how long? What, when? When was the actual? That's when we posted it up on Steam. No, tw- we. It, it's been on Steam for only like four years. Oh, okay. It's been on Steam since May 29th, two thousand eleven. No, so no, no, no. That's that's when it was released. That it, it allows you. So when you oh, put the game okay. in, it allows you to, to to put in a release date. That's what mm, I was trying to okay. figure out. I was like, oh, man, all right. I'm like, I don't remember being on Steam since. <laughs> no, no, we we put it. Because we outright bought the game. So it, there's like a backstory mm-hmm. to it, right? I was part of yeah. the original team that that put the game out, right? Um, mm-hmm. It was just called Deadweight, uh, Deadweight Games, or I'm sorry, Deadweight Studios at the beginning. And then um, the the guy who ran that, the guy who like did all the original character art and stuff like that, um, mm-hmm. he he got like a big boy job and <laughs> does, uh, does character development for, you know, studios. And he does it, you know, freelance and... He did a trip in, 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 in Europe. He did like a biking trip across mm-hmm. Europe all while working because laptops. Uh, yep. Which like kudos to him. I don't. I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah. a, I'm not big on like working from a laptop as your default. So that just that's me. Uh, but it, it was he kind of just lost, lost passion for it. And I was like, right, yeah. let me I'm like let me buy it off you. Like I'll buy the property. I'll buy the whole thing from you. And uh, we bought it and. That's we've just been kind of championing it. It lined up that green light was like a thing during that time, uh, and then mm-hmm. when we jumped on green light, someone approached us um, to put us in a bundle, and they got you know x yeah. amount of activations in that time. So mm-hmm. they they greenlit the game, and we got on there. We I mean nice. we've made more money off bundles than we've made on off Steam. For sure. I'm sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, for sure. Don't get us wrong; it, it wasn't much money, but it yeah. was. You <laughs> no, know, well, fair it, enough. It was better right? than nothing. It's, um, it's tough to stand out. Oh, 100 yeah. percent, yeah. And I mean, here's the thing: I, I, um, when we put it on Steam, I told them I was like, "This isn't going to be an expensive game. There's no reason for it to be expensive. Yeah. I just want people to get it and and see what it's about and see how much." Like, I mean, obviously, you're giving out free Steam keys. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, so. here, here's my here's my question to you. So originally, when we first put out the game, we put it out for ten bucks. Do you mm-hmm. think the now that you have beat the game, do you think that is a ten dollar worth game? Well, considering I got forty four hours worth of gameplay, um, I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. That's I, I don't know. <laughs> well, but but the but the other thing was like, I I, I played it a lot more simply because i needed footage and like sure, i needed right, specific that makes parts sense. so realistically it was more like probably like 30 hours maybe sure mm-hmm. so like it's a long game like i wasn't expecting it to be as long as it was right, right. we we so, like, advertise it as 15 hours mm-hmm. do you think it could be well i got i got triple the amount so like <laughs> <laughs> um uh, like I don't know. I I would say if you charge more than ten, I would be like probably not. But I feel like ten 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 sounds reasonable for the amount of games. That's that that's what is. we. I think that's what we ended up originally going yeah. with. And then with the bundles, we it was down to like yeah. I think it was like maybe five bucks or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we then, got it down to five bucks after a while, and then for a while it just we were like, well, it's not selling, and I'm like, just dude, just put mm-hmm. it. I'm like, just put it at a dollar permanently, and it, if it yeah. sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I already we'll put in the discounts go, for the winter. We'll go from the, there. There's gonna be mad discounts yeah. coming up here for for the fall and the winter mm-hmm. sales and stuff. What is, what is it gonna be? One cent a penny? It can. It will. <laughs> it will literally only allow you to do up to ninety percent discount. Oh, okay. So, so it'll be a... ten cents. <laughs> it'll be ten cents. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but yeah, I, no, so... I, so here's the thing. I there's a long, long form goal uh, of 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 bu- building a sequel. Um, and oh, a sequel. Yeah. Hold up. So here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you. There's a there's a little comic that we did. We did a, a comic book convention, and we had a, mm-hmm. our buddy who's an artist do a one page comic that it that like follows the last scene of the game, um, where he okay. like where he like All pauses right. where he pauses and he looks mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm very aware of that scene. <laughs> Where, uh, he, where, he, where he pauses and looks like your your game's your frozen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, uh, what? That yeah, was great. yeah. So that we we had him like do up a little funny comic that follows that moment, and the there is like plans to do a sequel. Uh, I want to do a bunch of sequels, and I want to name them after this guy's. Look at his face right now. I, I want to name them after. <laughs> 
I want to name them after uh, sequel movies. So in order. So like, uh, my, my ever since 2011, no joke. Ever since 2011, my goal has been to make G Shift Two the Shiftening. <laughs> 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 and then and then and then you would make G Shift Three oh Tokyo God. Shift. I've, I've vetoed these votes. <laughs> I, uh, he loves oh Tokyo gosh. Shift. Tokyo it's Shift's amazing. Would, he yeah, loves it. To, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what it is. It's love. Yeah. Uh, and then six would be uh, Guster wow. goes to hell. Yeah, that's the other good one, right? That's the the Guster, oh my goes, gosh. Guster goes to hell. Yeah, dude. I I, uh, I like found I found like dude. There's so because there's so many. Because uh, what's a fourth movie? What's a series with a fourth movie? Uh, all the Fast and Furious. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to just... Uh, then we have to have them drive a car at some point if we're just going <laughs> to name them after Fast and Furious movies. Um, I think Alvin and the Chipmunks had four movies. No. no oh, too. I think so. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. Dude, it'll... I'm just saying. It'll be funny. It'll be... And it would, like... But, like, so here's... I mean, to give you kind of an idea, like, what I wanted to do in the second one, it would be... Um, it would be... Uh, kind of a mix of 2d like side scroller platformer and uh kind of third person and what you'd end up doing is mm. essentially instead of having so like you had the whole every biome had its own level yeah essentially that would be one big area but each area you ah. the camera would pivot each can each area of the camera would pivot and you'd have had these moments where uh you'd build up uh you, you're gonna build up the 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 gravity stuff and eventually, mm -hmm. we'll be able to make larger jumps. So, mm. yeah. Oh, so you can go more than just uh, one block at a time. Two blocks, <laughs> sir. It's two blocks. <laughs> it's the, it's oh, the, so sorry. Yeah, It's the full sorry. space of two blocks. Come on, man. It's the full space of two blocks. <laughs> <laughs> it took, I mean, it takes everyone a while to learn it. I'm not going to lie yeah. to you. Yeah. No, I, that's fair. When yeah. You were, when you were pointing out, like, the, the despair you felt yeah. when, like, you ex you accidentally turned the wrong way yeah. or... Uh, yeah. He said every, I was he said every, every wrong way oh, yeah. has immediate regret. Oh, yeah. I was like, that's true. Oh, yeah. That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. That was... Dude. Yeah. We've watched it probably... I mean, I, I, I had my wife watch it. Like, we watched it... I've watched it probably See, five times. <laughs> well, the thing is, like... I, I didn't even know if you watched it yet because I heard nothing ever since I sent the link to the video. So no I'm joke. Like, all uh... I've been trying to do is log into the to the Deadweight YouTube channel so I can repost it. And I can't oh, figure wow. out the password. <laughs> I'm just, that was going to be my first reaction is to repost that video on the Deadweight channel. Mm -hmm. But I just have not have not been able to figure out the password. <laughs> so that's Yikes. that's like a that's a that's a thing that I uh, yeah. suffer from is making passwords that I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, yikes. So, yeah. never, never get hacked, uh, apparently. <laughs> Even by yourself. Wow. Right? Yeah. Dude. I think the third person aspect would be interesting. Yeah, because I think sure. that, that could be like a different, you could get different maps and different levels. And mm -hmm. yeah, I just, I, I think there's story wise, I think it could get interesting. Um, I think. Oh, yeah, for sure. I yeah. actually was thinking in the, in the second one that the, his power would be natural. And at the end of each like little mini section, you'd f you'd like find the pack, and the pack would be like a one time use, and that's how it gets you to like the next area, like it's the big jump, mm. and then the pack is useless, and then you find another pack later on to get uh, you to the next area. So like the his his, right. his gravity power essentially like because everything's experimental, and his dad is a bad scientist. His gravity yeah. his gravity pack essentially like gives him powers. That are right. kind of uh, that are kind of low level. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Because his dad is a terrible scientist. Because right. he built a machine. That so is, is the, the sequel crust. gonna is the sequel gonna come out on the tenth anniversary of of the first game? No. Because <laughs> that's in like two years. Yeah, yeah that is in two years. Uh, well, no. Well, uh, technically, technically, like one year ish. Well, no, two. Well, kind. Of, I don't know. Year, about two years. Year and a half. Year and a half. That that would that yeah. would be fun. Uh, I just don't know if we would be able to actually. I would. I mean, honestly, right, yeah. honestly, to to have that kind of deadline, Matt, I would need to partner with somebody. Um, I, I, I was literally, I was going to be building a couple uh, smaller games, a couple mobile. There was literally, uh, I had plans of uh, doing um, G Shift the Lost Levels, and that was just going to be like a, mm -hmm. a mobile one of those perma runners that like it just always is running and you tap it to do stuff, do stuff to jump and flip and whatever. Um, mm. 
but that was going to be just kind of like a mini a mini game basically and jump more than two blocks <laughs> <laughs> so actually, he's, gonna actually about, he's gonna dream about actually, that actually we were gonna reduce it to uh half a block only uh yeah oh my gosh half yeah. a block you can't actually, that's you we, can't actually we jump. really wanted to make it there's no job uh, there's just challenging challenging Challenging. You can only. You can only. I have a question though. I do have a question. Mm -hmm. I uh, so so the trip mine blocks, right? Yeah, Were yeah. you are you supposed to be allowed to jump on the edges of the blocks? Because I You're feel like you're supposed to get around them. You you can you can land perpendicular to them. The only the laser essentially is an indicator. The laser is not what's going to mm -hmm. hurt you. Only being on the platform is what's going to hurt you. So you're supposed to That's land. That's not true, though. You're supposed to, well, right, yeah. The, uh, the, the you, man, you manage the edging, but yeah, no. So if it's you know if you land if you land here and there's a laser like cutting across you, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. It's just an indicator. So yeah, you're supposed to land perpendicular to them. That that was kind of the the intended. Yeah. But That's I mean, funny. hey, you found a way around them. That's what's up. Right, but but I like... didn't know about. I didn't, <laughs> Listen, what I didn't know about was that was that one mover. I didn't know about that one mover that prevents you from shifting. That was yeah. But but I'm glad that it doesn't. It didn't prevent you from finishing. That was. It must have been. Right. That must but have been why we never very, found it. It was just very very difficult. <laughs> because of it. I don't know how I beat the level honestly, but I did. So I mean, hey, that's funny. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know. We had we did extensive extensive uh, uh, bug bug hunts, man. There's if you right, if you go yeah. to the Deadweight site, there's uh, I took some of the like early early bugs and stuff that we found, mm -hmm. and uh, just put up a post of just like the stuff that happens. Right, yeah. yeah. There was one where but like you jumped yeah. and your head got caught in the corner, so he was just hanging off by his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but like bug wise, that was like the only thing. So like. I mean, hey, I'm glad, I'm glad it worked. 99 now, level, I'd now, say that's now, now if I can hit you with a statistic, that game uh -huh. took a total of six months to make. Okay. From, I mean, and I mean from nothing, from from, from mm -hmm. no no assets, no like basically no concept. Like there was mm -hmm. an early, super early. If you go to the site, there's a a dude that has like a he's got like a blue body and a yellow or a white head like a super mm -hmm. early concept version of that uh and it was it was just called shift at the time it i don't even think the same i think it was supposed to be like a third person thing it was a completely different game yeah so like mm. when we started and we actually like put pen to paper uh six months and the guy who who coded mm -hmm. it never coded anything before in his life wow yeah he, he learned everything on the go I, I talked to him once about uh, about migrating it to mobile, and he said the game is so fat of unnecessary code, and like because he was learning, he would have to spend days going back and updating the older yeah. code for that. So there's just like mm -hmm. incompatible code, like not incompatible, but like um, non symmetrical code. Like early levels are yeah. huge in code, and then he learned better ways to do it oh, later yeah. on. Mm. Yeah, it was very it was a, it was a, it was a fun process. It was a very fun process. Yeah. I mean, like six months. That I, I mean, that makes sense when the world is basically made up of a bunch of identical blocks. So yeah. I'm sure that helped. Yeah, a yeah, lot. yeah. We had the the environmental artist was uh, was yeah. I mean, she what made ten different platforms essentially, eleven different platforms, mm -hmm. and then it was just a matter of placing them all. Yep. Yeah. It's, For sure. It was. It was. Yeah. It was. It was a fun time. But yeah, no. I, I, we would definitely need. I, we, I've been kind of exploring some options. Um, there's a couple local uh, local devs that I kind of want to re reach out to and mm -hmm. get that involved. Possibly, we'll see. We'll see. You might have started in 2000. What did you say? 2000 and 16 for the most. Recent. Well, for the 16, but you said 2011. 2011. Like yeah. Like, so like that's that's a perfect showing. Like just because maybe you didn't continue on with the thing you started originally. Mm -hmm that passion to create something even right, at yeah. that time continued over to now what you're doing mm -hmm. at this point so that's yeah that's i i do like seeing that i mean are you full-time youtube or i mean like it's the middle of the day i wish it's the middle no of the day. uh youtube youtube right now for me with my own personal creativity is like uh 
it's still my passion project. Right. Like I have, I, I do have a Patreon, but I don't get a lot from that. Sure. Yeah. So absolutely. that's not really my job right now. My job is editing for other YouTubers. Okay. That's what's up. So you have your mm -hmm. own channel that you would like to grow and, and, and continue the, the content you want there. But then you're also getting that learning experience by working yeah. for other YouTubers to mm -hmm. know later on, like, oh, I can do this with my video and I can incorporate this or I can even yeah. try this that I haven't done before. So that's a that's a perfect way of like, yeah, you're not 100 percent on your channel, but at the same time, you're still developing that skill. I take a lot of time with my videos, and that's because like I do want my writing to be like high quality as well as like my editing and my joke delivery and everything which, which is why they take a long time i mean time. Right. And and listen, like, i'm right. okay with that, that because you once again that very well. you nailed it on that game review and that's why it should take a while so you mm -hmm. can actually provide the content that you want to provide yeah. so like your videos that's a perfect example yet yeah, you're still doing quantity even let's say if it's once a month you're right that is still a quality. well i just mean like he's editing for other people he is also taking the time to make sure that he releases what he feels is the best he can deliver at that moment right like it's not like mm -hmm. this yeah. is the best i can deliver at this moment but it's just a talking head like what's the best <laughs> where in his situation he is presenting you with properly timed jokes uh, deep looks into like for instance for our vi the, the video that Super he did on us he, he went deep into music and like what instruments are used like, when you that said is, for, can, that can is I just quality, go back man. to praising you a little bit when you said like the instruments I was like he's right like I never even noticed that yeah, <laughs> oh my yeah. You, you I'm like oh my god it. there are strings what the f how did I never notice nailed it man nailed it I mean, and I, I truly appreciate it. that to me is true uh content creation once again we all have our we all have our understanding of different words and what they mean to us but to me like when i think about content creators i'm thinking about somebody who wants to release something that truly captures the mind it truly captures the attention uh don't get me wrong i understand there are people out there that really connect with just daily vloggers that just they want to connect with that person by seeing their life and it doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to be uh casey neistat like it doesn't have to be to that level of editing and and creation but i'm one of those people where if i'm creating something i really wanted to grab your attention in how it was mm -hmm. put together and how i'm telling you and presenting you the story if it's the story of my passion for cars or if it's the story of uh uh, of really enjoying something or going out there and doing something like whatever mm -hmm. that story might be or that narrative might be that's what I would like to do so that's why when you say like your videos take a time good because that means you really mm -hmm. are trying to put in that time to create something as good <laughs> yeah. as it could possibly be there's there's a lot of uh, there's a, a laundry list of reasons why I do my content the way that I do and a lot of the reasons bash with a lot of advice that YouTube people give oh, you I know, I know and I'm like and that's because like I'm doing a different kind of content that I really don't see on the internet I so agree. I feel like I'm I'm the one that needs to set a good example for like the next generation of YouTube I quite agree. honestly I, I, I hope you so continue like... <laughs> with the game review that you just did because that kind of review doesn't exist there are yeah. reviews, but what he just did, where he went into uh, mm. giving proper criticism to the creators, where he talked about, like, once again, I'll keep going back to it, but, like, the difference in the music for each map, and then on top of that, what instruments were used in the music, and how it plays into the mindset of each map with the song, like, that, nobody does that nobody mm -hmm. i've never no, seen exactly. anybody take the time to really go because it doesn't game. get views that's why nobody does it. right exactly exactly that's, and that's, that's all that's everybody what, cares about and, that's 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 what should should get and that goes back to our in conversation opinion, of right. like, yeah. money motivated moves versus versus creativity. exactly yeah like yeah no I, I feel like i honestly feel like that's why i love indie games because i feel i can relate to like every single indie game and quite i can honestly. completely and i can completely understand that <laughs> yeah. 100%. Yeah, man.
No, I, I, I dig your content, obviously. Um, I think I've I think I've praised enough uh, for the evening. <laughs> I'll praise some more fair. another day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, you, you make you make incredible stuff. Like I said, absolute best video game review I've ever seen in my life. Um, I, I, I'm that excited. means a lot to me. I hope you know. I'm excited. I, I'm excited to see more. I 100% agree with him. I think your review is probably the best thing I've seen in a long time when it comes down to any review. Yeah. I just the way it's done. I I I everybody does reviews and they try to do it in their own way but a lot of times it's cookie cutter stuff right mm -hmm. what yeah. you've done i have not seen and i think you should continue with it i think yeah i i've never been i i was like man 26 minutes i'm like i watch long videos but if they don't catch my if they don't catch my attention that's going to be a problem right they can't be mm -hmm. long videos and also not actual have proper content behind it where it's gonna grab my and you did it you nailed it man like he was he was hyping it up i'm like man i hope you didn't overhype this for me and he put it on <laughs> and i started watching and i was like this is great and then you started you. going into details and i was like holy <laughs> he went deep and like because i didn't when i first started watching it i didn't realize how long it was so and then like when i like when i felt like other videos would have been done i was like all right cool like that was a good review right and then, and then you started going to like the music yeah. and all the. No, guys. no, I'm just getting and I was started. Just like, you're just getting oh, started. You like, didn't stop. This is oh, awesome. Your, your writing's on point, man. Your 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 comedy's on point. Uh, how you deliver the different aspects of the game, both in and you're dealing bad. with random random. Shit. When that when that green screen falls, it like. Oh yeah. Timed with your script so well. Perfect, man. It you're... was way too perfect. That wasn't. Like those those situations, like those weren't even scripted. But I'm like, I have to add this in. No, you hundred percent. That, that and, uh, happens. Shotgun. That's on point. That like you sometimes have to take the unexpected, and if it works, mm -hmm. it works. But, that toy yeah. shotgun. That was a. But at moment. the end of the day, oh, man, I love that scene. Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, you you your writing, and you mentioned like you you really focus on your writing to make sure the jokes land right and stuff like that. It shows, man. It shows. You you Thank do you. it. You do it yeah, really killing good. It. And, uh, you're killing I, it. I, I I hope you continue with it. Keep it up, man. We're gonna. I, I'm I'm not planning on quitting. So. Thank you for that incredible review, and uh, yeah, good guys. Make sure check out Ethan Master ETH on all the platforms. This is some great commentary on my great. video. I really. That's right. It. Right. Content. Yeah. We, <laughs> not a problem. So uh, make sure you guys check that out. YouTube.com/slash/MasterEth. M-A-S-T-E-R-E-T-H. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 